All right, hello, welcome to episode 12 of Half-Life Alex. I am gonna be honest here and don't remember what we did last time, so let's go ahead and get into it. Where are we? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the door that we fixed and we just finished up with the ant mines, didn't we? All right, or at least presumably we finished with them. But we'll find out, won't we? Okay, all right. Oh, they're up. I'm about to be up too. Oh, there's the, there's the tractor station. Good, good. Oh, they're still just fighting in there. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's really hard to reach my hand out and grab something at the same time as I'm moving with that same hand because it's just the left joystick. Oh, good. I don't even have a mask. Oh, uh, this is the best. Was there anything in here? I've been looking for one. The game just made me lose my mask. <sighs> oh, this is actually acting like fabric. I was definitely expecting, like it to be a solid mass, if it was even movable. I guess the most I expected was it to be like one of these lockers. No, of course you don't have a mask on, why would you? Oh, you're gnarly. Oh, eyes and ears bleeding. Yeah, all that. A damn shame you don't have a mask, but whatever. It is what it is. So you're not going to give me anything that's going to be down there, past all the things. Oh hey, this actually works as a broom. Look at that. Broom. Broom. No, I can't drag it along the ground properly. That's the next thing they have to do, the uh... Wow, it's hard to grab this. The bendiness of the bristles will be the next thing they have to do to actually make this more realistic. Because as it is, I mean, it kind of feels like I'm holding a broom, but when I press it down, I can't move forward in the slightest. I can kind of pull it backwards and like scrape across the ground, but with these like solid bristles here, I really can't do anything. Oh well. Oh, I hope there's a mask in there. Nothing over here. Good, good. Oh. Actually, just a second. I need to put the uh, wire in my VR headset in place. Alright, there we go. I was wondering why I wasn't able to turn properly. Okay. So there's you, which I'm assuming I can just kill. You're holding something important, I guess. No more masks. Probably something that will, like, explode, I'm a guess. Really nothing? Okay. Guess I'm just supposed to kill you then. Alright, um, Hello! How you doing? Okay, now that that's done, what button were you talking about with the press to autoload? Oh, just that one? Yeah, look at that, it just kind of feeds the things in, and then I just have three at a time. Oh, I slap it into the autoloader and it's just good. Okay, I can dig it, honestly. Oh, health button. Oh. No masks still? Of course there are. Why would there be? Fortunately, I don't need any health, so you get to live this time. Shotguns. Do you want to see what's down there? Do you want to scout it out for me? I appreciate you, health bug. Live your life. Be free. You see anything over that way? Anything important? <laughs> okay, this is kind of fun. I'm gonna let you go now. There you go. Live your life. Be free, health bug. Nothing else in there. Going down this way. Okay. 
<coughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna grab all of your secrets, Ooh, all of your secrets before I jump down. I really am desperately in need of a mask, but the game just doesn't want to give it to me. Can I over there? Up. No. Can I up? No, it just won't let me go up there. I guess it's nothing anyway. Oh, hi. Um, it's not letting me move here. Ugh, I was stuck inside of it. I genuinely couldn't move. Not my favorite- ooh, gas mask! Not my favorite thing to have happened. But yeah, turns out you can break the game that way if you're spawning inside one of those things when they change from being a corpse whatever to being you know, animated and active as a character in this. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, surveying equipment. That's what this all was supposed to be, huh? Like, it uses lasers or some such to... Yeah, like, you set it up in a known location and it goes like a beam to the receiver and you have an exact measurement in all three dimensions. Aha! I see you back there. Don't think you can hide from me. You silly little chest. Oh good. Kinda concerns me that they're giving me this much shotgun ammo. There could be something up here that's gonna require it, or it could be feeding into my hypothesis before that just whatever I use is the ammo that it gives me. Because before jumping down here, I killed those two zombies with a shotgun. Excuse me, this is not what I wanted you to do. Please stop blocking my way. I would appreciate it. Just you. There's the health bug, so that's up there where I was. Was this? Yeah, okay, so that's still a chest that I haven't gotten to. Can I jump through here? No, it does not let me jump through here. Alright. Was worth a shot. See if I could. Okay, so there's this, there's over here. Oh, I see that's in there. And then there's this thing, which is just two levers. Oh, it'll change all this so I can do things, I assume. No labels on here. Okay, it's, yeah, faded into obscurity. That's one of those things where the puzzle actually makes sense, because, you know, through a lot of use in factories and such, the labels and such would be obscured. God, these things are the worst. Okay, maybe they're actually pretty easy overall. Just being able to move things and manipulate them at whatever speed I need to uh, does make it significantly easier. I will never not inject those into my eyeballs. You can quote me on that. Real life, too. Bring me one of those things. I'll just shunk right in there. Don't quote me on that. Really? Okay, fine. Let's see what I care. Because I have to go this way first. Okay, do I press you first? Nope, I'm good. Okay, this one, that goes up and down, I presume. Is there any use for it? Like maybe jumping over? 
No, that's as far down as it goes. Okay. So I guess that just moves it. What do you do? Oh, hello. That just goes up and down. Oh, that moves that one. So I need to move that before I can lift that up and, yeah, be able to get in there in the first place. Huh. This presents a conundrum. Since I only have these two, right? Can I... No, there's no weak spots or anything. That doesn't do anything. How about this? Nope. Do I just jump down? No, no I do not. Probably not from over there too. Okay. Oh, oh, here we go. Beautiful, perfect. Excuse me. This is what I want to do. Hop. Good, good. Oh, and then that blocks that, doesn't it? That I might be able to move that further. No, I think that's just as far as it can go, huh? Yeah, even if that's not blocking it. Okay, well that's easy enough. And I guess we can't go that way, so back down. Did I get that chest? I think I got that chest. This angle seems familiar at least. I did not get that chest, okay. Do I? I have entirely too many things, don't I? Sorry, I had to adjust my headset real quick. Don't mind me. Hello. All right. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, you gonna do it? Come on, hit me. meaning to do. Ha! <laughs> okay. Good. No more, I presume? The goal of this puzzle was to create a moment of heightened stress by requiring players to deal with a sudden threat after being placed in a precariously disadvantageous position. In the original design of the puzzle, players would stand on a platform which was suspended from a cable and pull themselves across the chasm. Halfway across, antlion spitters would emerge and start attacking. The platform provided limited cover, and players would have to make trade-offs between taking cover and continuing to propel themselves forward. This succeeded in creating the desired spike in intensity, but unfortunately, the lateral movement of the platform caused considerable motion sickness for most playtesters. Even players who were comfortable with the vertical movement of elevators elsewhere in the game were adversely affected here. The puzzle that we shipped retains the same sense of tension due to being stranded in the middle of a chasm under attack, but does not rely on physically moving the player. The upper portion of the wooden platform is deliberately devoid of any substantial cover, which encourages players to jump onto the platforms below. On the lower platforms, we provide enough cover to protect players from antlions, but also leave them feeling vulnerable out in the middle of the chasm. The cover here is porous and breakable, increasing the sense of urgency and requiring players to engage the antlions from their compromised position. This is the hardest door to get through with these just because there's so many of them in touch, you know? Okay, anything else? Of course there is. Anything over this way doesn't appear to be. Don't mind me, just gonna... Oh, there we go. Beautiful. I suppose I can do the same thing here and just jump over? Yeah, I can. Okay. Whatever. I'm 
I'm assuming I'm gonna circle back around through that locked door and come back up there, you know? Here, eat this. Nothing. Nothing. Of course there's nothing. Where would there be something? Oh, okay, I understand. It's very... It's very scary down here, isn't it? All alone and such. <laughs> I can even swap what weapon I have in my hand as I'm coming up. Excuse me, I'm trying to open it. You wouldn't mind. Oh, I guess there's nothing. Oh, it's pressing against the wall, isn't it? That's smart. It wouldn't be able to open. Do these open? No, they don't. Good. I didn't want to search through all those. These certainly open, though. Unfortunately, because I have to look through everything. Yo, look at that. It does feel very natural to search through these, though, as tedious as it is. Like, I'm just reaching out, grabbing things. I'm not, like, putting the cursor over it and hitting E, you know? Problem solved. Sorry, juice bug. I got some issues that the eye injections just aren't solving. Oh, that's not here. Or they're on the net. You live for now. Oh, I thought that was the door that opened. Never mind. Yeah, I know. There's that one back in the vent over there, too. I'm looking over here first. You can't blame me. Not allowed. This is my stream. <laughs> my rules. Over here. But yeah, when doing Cosmo Dread, the next game in this... Not in this, obviously. It's not Half-Life 4. But I'm doing... When doing Cosmo Dread, I might be doing a multiplayer thing with it, as opposed to just me. I don't know how that would work in this panel or anything, let me know. Oh, come on, I could totally fit in here. I'm trying to fit in here, but it's not letting me. Whatever, see what I care. Health bug? There you are, health bug. Let's go on an adventure. I don't even need it, but I'm taking it anyway. I definitely thought that was going to be, uh... Well, there's all the labels from up there. I guess this one was replaced more recently than that. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing special here before I move on. Don't mind me. What even am I supposed to be? Alex, we're getting close to the vault now. You're not going to have many more chances to use your resin. Good point. I'll see if there are any upgrades I can use. I can't believe my pistol's made it this far. I was thinking about giving it to the boy. <laughs> he just hung up on me. He doesn't want me to give it to Gordon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those things have multiple answers to them. I don't want to go through it and almost solve it and then just mess it up again to do it a different way and waste time like that, but I'm pretty sure I'm not that smart or I'm just like, oh, here's the answer. Okay, so like I said, this is the last time I'll be able to use the resin, presumably. I don't know, they were pretty blatant about it, so let's see. I don't want burst fire for that, so this one's completely set. Reflex sight? Yeah, why not? Anything else on there? Double shot. Nah. If anything, I have an issue with going through too much enemy so... I have 11 left. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, so reflex sight for this one to finally see what it looks like. Oh. 
really? That's rude. <gasps> that is very expensive. I don't want to lose that. <laughs> okay, so it's like the... There we go. I have to be within a certain range to pull it out of my backpack. Ah, <laughs> uh, what you gonna do? <sighs> okay. Now that is upgraded. I can dig it, I guess. I mean, it's really big. It's useful for the, like, more hectic firing of this weapon, right? That would make sense. And so it's, like, big and obvious where it is. There's the wide range and the reticle and everything. Oh. That's what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. Is this the way? That can't be the way. Okay, so it is up here. We're going on an adventure, health bug. You and me. Us against the world. Hundred years. Egan and health bug. And not a second one. Okay, you didn't drop anything because, of course, why would you? Y'all haven't dropped anything since the beginning of the damn game. Okay. So that's just what humans look like after getting hit by whatever infection came through here. And there's an- oh, there's the zen stuff. Were you a head crab once? I thought they completely mutilated the faces. I don't know. Do you have anything? Nope. Alright. Good enough. Oh, there's definitely gonna be something down here. There is not definitely going to be something down there. Why would I say such things? Such obvious falsehoods. Oh. oh, you're lucky this time, health bug. There's another one here. I mean, you're not very lucky. I do apologize, but I need this. I need this hit of your juices in my veins. Oh yeah, come to me. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you're good. I don't like that sound. I don't know what it is, but I don't like it. Of course not. Why would there be something there? What's that? Oh, that's a little, like power generation thing. That's probably what... Yeah, look at that, the way it revs up and everything. That probably looked really cool before the flashlight got there. Alright, let's do this. I hear you out there. Okay, here you go. You stay safe. <laughs> okay, you'll have more fun out here. Here you go, health bug. Live free, or die trying.
Nothing else? That one definitely- oh, he threw the grenade. That's what it was. Combine combat. In cases where the player had to face off against Combine in relatively open spaces like this one, we often found that playtesters would backtrack to safety and attempt to pick away at the soldiers from a distance. The playtesters would ultimately be successful in clearing the combat space, but would feel unsatisfied with the encounter due to the repetitive and static nature of the tactics that they employed. To address this, we used a few design tools to discourage this type of player behavior. The placement of the combine suppressor, standing on the bed of the truck at the far end of the courtyard here, is the key to the design flow of this battle. The suppressor does not move from his planted position on the far side of the courtyard while the player is on the near side. His positioning, combined with his unrelenting wall of suppressing fire, forces the player to advance in order to close the distance required to take him out, all while under the intense pressure from a carefully crafted combination of other combine units. Additionally, if the player backtracks far enough from the fight, the more mobile combine soldiers in the encounter are told to retreat and hold their ground until the player once again advances into the combat. These elements together keep players moving forward into locations that provide for more interesting opportunities for both the player and the enemy soldiers. Okay, good to know that I can hit the grenades while they're on there. Yeah, sorry. I was like, oh, I shouldn't advance too far because I might trigger something while they're talking. But then I advanced too far. And triggered something. And they were talking. Hey. Last three. Okay, definitely using this now. As I really should have been from the beginning. I'm aware. I apologize. Only I don't apologize because screw you. What have you ever done to me? I'm going to look at that. You know what I can do though? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to hit them with it, but. Guess that wasn't gonna happen. Oh look, more health. I was about to go back. You're all right. Good. I keep defaulting to that, even though I should use the SMG. You know, even though it is demonstrably the best option. Good. Nope. I like my blue hat. Thank you very much. I'm just glad I have my gas mask bask back on, you know? Ah, sorry, little bug. My temporary need for health outweighs your permanent need for existence. To be fair, you are just a construct of zeros and ones. But then, we're just a construct of A, G, C, and T, so really, what can you do? Nothing else here. That thing. Oh. Oh, that's for the next way to go? I thought it was going to be this way. Nothing in there. Okay. Over that way? No. No. Yep. Good, good. But this looks like it. On to here. How much? Yeah. <laughs> Is anything going to trigger? After the intense combat that precedes it, this tower initially serves as a pacing break 
before once again ramping up the intensity on the player's final fight up to the combine tractor beam controls. While the lower portion of the tower does contain combat, it has been designed to cause players to engage with the space in a different way than the preceding courtyard fight. The focus here is on navigating the chaotic verticality of the tower, which we found to be particularly successful for playtesters to experience in VR. The manhacks that initially engage the player from above fly a path that deliberately has them crashing around the pipes and boards overhead, causing sparks and splinters to rain down on the player. Combined with the disorienting nature of the space, the combine suppressor that emerges at the top of the stairwell is used to reintroduce an appropriate level of intensity and to create a sense of a struggle as the player continues to scramble closer to their goal. Alright, I'm really digging these spoilers for the combat that's about to happen. Like, not even in a sarcastic way, it's good to know what is gonna happen. I keep thinking those are resin or something, but no. Eh, let me just... Eh. Oh, that's in there? Okay. And nothing actually this way? Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, thanks for letting me through here then. I appreciate it. Eh. There we go. Then just gotta break some of these. Look at how easy that is! Those beams are coming from the top of this tower, right? Yeah, that's right. What am I supposed to do now? How am I supposed to climb this with no hands? Fine, I guess I'll leave this there and not immediately do drugs into my eyeball. There you are. Is that not... Good to know that I can't shoot them through there and I just wasted some ammo. Why do I keep going to this? Look at the amount of ammo I have. <laughs> you deserved that. This one though? Ugh. This one I get to shoot directly into my eyeball. Oh, yeah. See, the key is to do it in the sclera, the whiteness around the eye. You don't want to do it. Oh. You don't want to do it in the iris or anything because that just makes it so you can't see. Up. Nothing up there. Nothing down there. Up. <gasps> nope, nope, nope. Whew. You didn't see anything. Nothing at all. I'll just up. I was like, oh, I don't have to play it super safe and just teleport. No, no. This is ridiculously easy with this gun as opposed to the pistol. I guess that what that's what happens when you just uh Suck it up and get good with the pistol instead of using the upgraded weapons. <clears throat> <laughs> That's a block, okay. Okay, there isn't actually anyone there. He was just like, ooh, go to covert. For no reason. None whatsoever. Nothing here. Okay, just taking a look at this real quick, because look at that. That's so cool. Like that whole thing up there and zooming out. And I like that the zen, or no, the combine thing is blue. Well, humanities things are red, and then of course the Zen wildlife is like orange and like the the electric blue. 
that, that the floor in fauna has. Here's the control room. I see it. We're almost Do there. I don't see it. Where's the control room? Up there? Oh, I guess that's the control room, huh? Okay. Yeah, we're almost there. Just gotta make it a bit further. Thank you for all this ammo. I appreciate it, and it doesn't make me concerned at all that there's about to be something. Oh, was this okay? I love the way that it works. Okay, the autoloader might have been a good idea. Nope. I'm good, thanks. Did you see that body spazzing out? Oh, look what I can do. Then I don't have to hold it anymore. How did you hit me with that? Last one. Really? Oh, jeez. This eats through it. Okay. All right. Do I go over there and up there? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah, because this is just a dead end, isn't it? Since I can't go through here. Is this locked? No, but that's blocking it. Alex, you there? Yeah, Dad. It looks like you will be able to get into the vault from up there. There's a terminal that extends a bridge to the entrance. What's the security like inside? I got it all laid out in front of me, and I tell you, there is security. But I've never seen anything like it. It doesn't make any sense. I guess I'll have to improvise. Uh, don't worry, honey. I'll figure it out. They're done? They're done. But yeah, do you see how, like, I can just slide it right like this through me, no problem, but still be holding onto it like this? It's the same thing as with, like, here, sorry. I can go like that, no problem, like, behind the board. They don't model my arm or body or anything. Every choice that they had, they inevitably went with what's the easiest for use, and it really streamlines everything, makes it awesome. I genuinely am a fan of this game, and I do think that it's earned the term of Half-Life 3. They just don't want to use it for marketing purposes or whatever, because, you know, it's like with the Duke Nukem Forever, where it became a joke more than anything, and like, they can never release actual Duke Nukem Forever without it being like that. Nothing else over that way? Alright. Alex, dead ahead. Those controls dock the vault to the station. On it. Okay. See what it says. At the start of the previous map, we introduced the tractor beam, a failsafe device used to catch the falling vault when the last substation was knocked offline. In this location, the console looks like it could be used to control the tractor beam to dock the vault for entry via the nearby gantry on the left. We decided to have the vault crash to the ground spectacularly, but for this to work emotionally, we needed the scene to increase in tension beforehand. The whole vault docking console is absurd by design. If the console appeared too much like a legitimate puzzle, playtesters could take too long and let the air out of the scene unsure if there was something that they could actually solve. The more inscrutable the machine looked, the more likely they were to interact with the levers and play along with the unfolding disaster. The first phase of the puzzle extends the catwalk and unlocks the main lever bank, which responds to the player's input, engaging them in the solution. Every subsequent lever thrown does nothing except increase the tension as things continue to go wrong. <laughs> The back and forth radio dialogue between Alex and Russell completes the scene with growing panic and keeps players in the moment, flipping levers in an attempt to save the vault. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm gonna let the entire air out of the uh, tension of the scene anyway, just by doing these developers' commentaries. Alright. Okay, can that roll now? That pushes it out. Time to go rescue the savior of humanity. You know, honey, you haven't been doing too bad yourself. Earth could have used you in the seven hour war. Maybe we'd have lasted eight. Alright. Oh, seven like hours. The bridge is fully extended. Just need to gently dock the vault to the bridge. How hard can that be? Oh, God. Okay, well, one of these has to bring in the vault for docking. Right? Right? Almost certainly. Just pick one. Immediately. Uh. Maybe? No, not that 
that one. Alex, the bridge isn't moving. Why isn't the bridge not moving? I know. Russ, I can see it not moving. Oh. Definitely not. That doesn't look good. Ugh. <laughs> Okay, well that looks like the end of episode 12 of Half-Life Alex. I hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if it's going to be episode 13 or finale next time, so find out with me together.